Over the Edge for Special Olympics is a fundraising campaign and special event made up of community of individuals, organizations, and businesses. They collectively raise funds and awareness for Special Olympics and celebrate with a 16-story repelling adventure. That's a celebration. I bet your celebration isn't like that at home, folks. Joining us now to talk more about the Special Olympics is Oscar Solis, along with Special Olympian Martine Wiggins and Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office Chief Deputy Edward Mims. Guys, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, as you said, Chad, are you going to go over the edge again this year? I said, I'm probably one and done. <laughs> I did it last year. It was fun. For those like myself, Martine, have not done it, what is Over the Edge? How does it benefit Special Olympics? Well, so like you said, Over the Edge is a repelling adventure that uh, fundraising adventure at you know at first and then it culminates with the celebration mm -hmm. where you're repelling 16 stories that's 230 feet down the side of the building in mm -hmm. downtown Albuquerque it's a unique event n n not offered anywhere else in the state mm -hmm. um, and so we're just excited to offer it to the community yeah absolutely all right so let's talk about these two parts fundraising is the first part right. and then you celebrate those endeavors by repelling 16 stories. I'm usually a cake is fine, right. but you know, definitely get the repelling 16 stories in. That way you can say you've done it. So let's talk about the fundraising. Right. How do people get involved with So this? first of all, uh, we register online. Everything is done online. Okay. Um, so our fundraising minimum is now set at $500. Very easy for people to reach. People mm -hmm. are finding it repelling or, or they're registering like crazy mm -hmm. just because it's a lot more accessible fundraising minimum goal. Um, they're asking their friends and their family, hey, will you donate $10, $20? And the friends and family are donating like crazy because they want to see their friend or loved one <laughs> repel, repel <laughs> safely on the side of a building. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so it's, it's getting started. It's very, very easy. They work with our staff. Mm -hmm. uh, we get it all taken care of. And then when they get to the building, we have the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department that acts as our key volunteers. They're on the roof and they're on the ropes with us. And so not only are they keeping us safe on the streets, they're keeping us safe on this event as well. Mm -hmm. um, they've been involved in our program for over three years, mm -hmm. providing all their deputies to help us out. And so a very, very well organized event and the practice is, makes it easier. You guys didn't do the practice, you said, no, when we, you repelled. No, we, we, just, uh, we just went right over. <laughs> yeah, just, right. We so, were brave. I like to say <laughs> we right. were brave. Yeah. And, and it was, everything was smooth. It was smooth. Was, it was great, honestly. Right. I mean, it's, it's all, of course, you know, the, the fear is all mental. You guys do a great job, Edward, I got to say, of making sure that we're Thank safe. You. Thank Your staff you. is really great. So uh, aside from making sure that we're safe and we're going over, what does it mean for Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department to get involved with this? The Sheriff's Department is extremely pleased to be involved in this operation uh, over the EDGE event in support of uh, Special Olympics. Uh, our guys are up there. They're very happy to be there, and, and uh, they're very happy to see folks like you when they go over the EDGE, the expression on their faces. So. <laughs> yeah, the, the terror and trembling. <laughs> but really, joy and elation because we're, we are supporting a great cause, and we're supporting great athletes like Martine. Mm -hmm. So, Martine, have you, have you gone over the EDGE? What was yes. it like for you? I know my experience. What was your experience like? It was a little bit scary at first, mm -hmm. but it was fun. Yeah. What was was the scariest part when we when we actually lean over the building? Yeah, was that the scariest yeah. part for you? So when we're going down, was it like, oh, I got this, no big deal, as you're actually ascending or descending? Yeah. Yes. And Martine's got a medal that she's showing off here. Mm -hmm. Every edger gets a medal for when they complete. Does it matter? Um, if you've never, you know, if you've never got a medal, it's the wonderful thing to have it. Martine and our Special Olympic athletes drape the medal on you, mm -hmm. and it just connects you with what the spirit of Special Olympics. Yeah. And it's such a wonderful, wonderful moment. Yeah, it really is, and it's it's great. It's a great accomplishment, but also really that you're helping Special Olympics. Absolutely. So again, Oscar, yeah. remind us uh, if we want to sign up for this. There, there's still time to sign up. September 18th is a big event. It's September 18th. Mm -hmm. um, Go to OverTheEdgeNM.com. Okay. There's a register button there. and It's filling up pretty fast now. Yeah, I'd And imagine. so we, we encourage everybody to go on, start their fundraising journey. Again, it takes, on average, five days to meet your minimum goal now. Okay. So it's plenty of time for people to register, to raise their minimum goal, and go beyond and support Special Olympics. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Well, for more information on how you can go over the edge, head over to CASA.com. Thanks for joining Thank us, Thank you guys. very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you.